Welcome everybody to Fishing with Jet. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of a change up on my channel. Um, we're gonna do more of a tournament style format. The tournament is gonna consist of four people. Now, let me remind you that the four people involved, only one is an actual person, that's me. Um, but the other three, they're gonna represent as of right now, first, second, and third. So we have a couple of goals that we're trying to achieve in this tournament format. First thing is I want to catch a five fish bag. That's the first goal. The second goal is to exceed 15 pounds. That's exactly what first place is going to be. So we're not going to set it up to 20 pounds or anything like that. We're going to keep it at 15 pounds. So I need to catch anything above 15 pounds to claim first place. Second place is going to be 14 pounds and third place is going to be 13 and a half pounds. So, we're gonna get on with this little bit of tournament right here, and I'll talk to you later. Today, we're gonna start off with a little underspin, something, um, something the moving bait style. The wind is blowing a little, a little heavier than, heavier than I thought it was gonna be through blowing so we're going to use a little bit of a spinning bait underspin whatever you want to call it cover some water again today's today's agenda is a tournament tournament style format Five fish limit is the first thing I want to achieve. And I want to exceed 15 pounds out of the five fish. So I will need a 15 plus pound bag of, of fish. Birds playing with each other. See if I can find some. This a this is like a a little point that kind of shallow. It's got rocks on it. Uh, some type of grass also is on it. I'm not sure exactly what type of grass, but it's a grass that stay pretty green year round. Well, most of the year. The the lure that I'm using. It's like a little, it's more like that, kind of set up like that. I think it's a, it's not, I think it might be a 3-8 side, might be a 1-4, one 1-4. Four. One four. It's under spin. It's a, a Berkeley, Berkeley Fusion underspin. You can get them at Walmart, anything. You don't, they don't cost that much. You know, I've never used them before. This is my first time actually using one. So, I am eager to see just how good the, they perform. Looks good in the water. Uh, not sure exactly what's going on with my, I got to adjust my, I think the underspin that I took off is a little bit heavier. This wind is something terrible. But don't get me wrong, wind is good a lot of times. I like a little bit of chop on the water. Trust me, I fished in winds a lot more blowing, a lot worse than today. Looks like a catfish. That's what it looks like. 
Yeah. Wrong species of fish. Wrong species of fish. <laughs> yeah, pretty good sized catfish. Definitely not with them. Come on here, get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Come on here. Not what I'm looking for. Not quite what I'm looking for. But it'll bite. Uh, old cat. It's a pretty catfish. It's a nice one. A really nice catfish. It's a beautiful catfish. I need you to go tell your bass buddies to come and bite. There we go. We got a nice catfish right here, fellas. Everybody look at the catfish. It's not what we're looking for. But he's he's beautiful. Pretty good size. Probably maybe two and a half, three pound catfish. Give or take. I don't know. He's the way it go, he He's not gonna go on the scale. That's the problem. He ain't going on. Well, get on out of here. Well, we got one in the boat. We got the skunk out of the boat, but wrong species of fish. That's a trend I hope don't continue. Oh, look at the little ducks. <laughs> look at them. The little quack quacks. All right, y'all, get out of the way. There's fish over there. Not sure exactly what happened with the audio in this particular part of the video, but uh, basically what I have done is I switched over to a more slower presentation Throwing the Texas rig with a, a 316 ounce weight, I and mean, I'm using a small, like crawl, soft plastic. Kind of drag slowly and see if I can trigger a bite. This part of the lake, um, the water goes from around three feet to maybe a couple of feet out to like 12 feet of water so it's a quick drop off and um, I just figured that this particular day right here maybe something was setting off that drop off Well, it turned out to be a, a great decision on my part. Ended up hooking into my first bass of the day. Man, I have to give it to this little guy right here was totally pumped up. I mean, he had a lot of energy.
wasn't the greatest start of the day, but you know, the fish weighed one pound 12 ounces, so it was better than nothing. And just look at him, acting like he's so hurt. Don't worry, y'all. He took off real fast. He just didn't know he was released. Little bitty boy right here. Yeah. Going down this high. We're going in the wrong direction. Going in the wrong direction. Ooh. Been tough today, y'all. Technically, I'd have caught three fish. But only one of them is scoreable. The biggest one's a catfish. A little teeny weeny, but again, his little butt is not going to score. catching four fish um the sad thing about it the biggest one 
wasn't the species of fish that I was looking for. Um, the other three, only one was scoreable. So, un unfortunately, I come in last place today in the tournament that you know I basically had with my imaginary contestants. Um, my final weight. I think it's one pound, 12 ounces. I may be wrong, may be right. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Not too long after getting to the lake that I caught that. I tried a little, I tried, I tried a lot of finesse today. Just to try to get my five fish living in these, I was going to switch up a little bit once I got that. But it did not work out. Fishing was tough. Um, but I gave it a go and everything else and um, you know things don't always go at plan if you like what I'm doing please subscribe hit the like button share with a friend and uh, we'll see you next time thank you for watching